Welcome to Zoo's family channel. Another day, something to learn. Introduction Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about virtual machines and how they can benefit you and your computer setup. What are virtual machines? Before we get into the advantages of virtual machines, let's define what they are. Essentially, a virtual machine is a software emulation of a physical computer. It allows you to run multiple operating systems on a single physical machine, without the need for additional hardware. Advantages of Virtual Machines There are many advantages to using virtual machines, including Increased efficiency by running multiple operating systems on a single physical machine, you can save space and resources. Isolation Virtual machines are isolated from each other and from the host operating system, which can prevent malware and viruses from infecting your computer. Flexibility, you can easily switch between different operating systems or configurations without the need to physically swap out hardware. Testing virtual machines are ideal for testing software, operating systems, or configurations, without risking damage to your primary setup. Conclusion So there you have it, virtual machines are a powerful tool that can greatly benefit your computer setup. Whether you're a developer, a designer, or just a tech enthusiast, virtual machines are worth considering. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content. More on virtual machines. VMware Workstation provides several virtual network adapters that can be used to connect virtual machines to the host computer's network adapter. Two of these virtual network adapters are VNAT1 and VNAT8 and they have different characteristics and uses. VNAT1 is a host-only virtual network adapter that creates a private network between the virtual machines and the host computer. This means that virtual machines connected to VNAT1 can communicate with each other and with the host computer, but they cannot communicate with other computers or devices on the physical network. VNAT1 is typically used for testing and development purposes, or for creating isolated networks. VNAT8, on the other hand, is a NAT, Network Address Translation, virtual network adapter that allows virtual machines to share the host computer's IP address for Internet access. This means that virtual machines connected to VNAT8 can communicate with each other and with the host computer, and can also access the Internet. VNAT8 is typically used for testing and development purposes, or for creating networks that require Internet connectivity. In summary, the main difference between VNAT1 and VNAT8 is that VNAT1 creates a private network between virtual machines and the host computer, while VNAT8 allows virtual machines to share the host computer's IP address for Internet access. I hope this helps explain the differences between VNAT1 and VNAT8. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.